that you have a gas cloud that makes a family of stars, eats up most of the mass of the gas cloud, but there's part of the gas that didn't participate in the formation little, of the planet. A little snooty, like you were in high school. A little snooty, <laughs> a little standoffish. And that gas doesn't always land on a star. Do we know why? Now the gas doesn't have enough gravity to make it a next star. We're done. Like all the other gases had an equal opportunity I got to be part you. of that. It's not an equal opportunity system. If you're a little too far away, you might not feel the strong enough gravity to participate. And the stars form without you. And then the whole galaxy is rotating. So your whole system with your stars and your gas is moving through other stuff. So your gas can get stripped and scatter into the galaxy say, so never to make another star. So that gas just continues Correct. as gas throughout yep. the universe. These are the particles that comprise the interstellar medium, even between the gas clouds. Yeah. It's not completely empty. And can that gas marry with other gases eventually, eventually yes. and sort of